Hello everybody, my name is Ray's HD1450 and welcome back to another video and today we are here for another Minecraft Seed video so if you guys enjoy this video remember to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to this channel and I quickly want to say as well guys that if you have not seen any of my other videos you should definitely go and check them out I did a top 3 OP prison service the other day, you should definitely go and check that one out and I also did a let's play, you should definitely go and check that one out as well and also stick around because I have my trailer for my prison server probably coming pretty soon so yeah definitely stick around for that one but yeah it's not waiting long, let's actually get straight into the video so yeah the first thing you're going to want to do, actually before we get into the video i really want to give a shout out to my friend because my friend actually found this seed so yeah, if you want to go and follow him on twitter the link will be down below to go and follow him uh big thanks to him because he found this seed so yeah definitely go and follow him so yeah now what we're going to do is go to single player create a new world and the seed you're going to want to put in is actually that so once you put corsair in all you got to do is create the world remember this is the world name so you got to go to more world options and then put it in here so yes, basically this seed is a pretty damn good one, that's why I'm showcasing it, and um, there's loads of spawners in this seed. So yeah, basically just create your world, I'm not going to do that because I've already got the world saved, because I won't remember where the um, mob spawners are, so I've marked them, so um, yeah, basically we want to do is put that in, create your world, and yeah, I'm going to go straight over to the world I've got, and once you spawn in, as you can see I'm spawning this area here, and as you see I put these markers about, because these are where the mob spawners are, so basically you should spawn anywhere from around these uh, red flowers from over here where these creepers are standing somewhere around this area is where you spawn I spawned here you might spawn over there I don't know you spawn anywhere so yeah basically the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here I will leave cords and all that type of cool stuff and basically see the cords on the screen right now there's a mob spawner right here so basically there's like six spawners at spawn so it's pretty damn cool so yeah once you come here make sure you just jump down here or maybe just dig down and once you come down here there's um, two, two chests, obviously, and here we are. We've got a feather fallen book, three, and golden apple, and some horse iron, gunpowder, all that type of cool stuff. And we've got over here some iron, so you bring yourself an iron pickaxe, and you've got yourself a name tag. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Definitely really good, right at spawn. It's basically, you spawn in and you can see it. Well, you can't see it because you need to dig down, but you know what I mean. But anyway, come back up, all the way back up to the top. Now we are at the top, as you can see. So basically, the next place you want to head off to is towards the water over there, to the trees and the mountains. And um, basically, once you head over this way, as you see the cords on screen, so you can always see the cords. Basically, it's in the water now, so you, you're probably best idea to put some blocks around. And just dig down here. So these are the cords, as you can see. And once we come down here, it, and um, some of them are skellies, some are spawners, and some are spiders. So we've got a bunch of random spawners, and you can probably join them up and make a double XP farm or something like that. So as you see, in the first chest, another name tag. And then, that's all it is, a name tag in this chest, I'm afraid. But yeah, you've got to be careful with this one. Well, you can fall in lava, uh, but it looks like the water came down uh, from here and um, you know put uh, water on the uh, on lava and put made obsidian. But yes, once you're here, that's all there is is that one. And then you head all the way back up, all the way back up to the top. And I also want to say there is a village on this map uh, or on this world, uh, pretty nearby. And there's two um, big um, mine shafts. So yeah, definitely pretty cool. So yeah, once you come out of this one, you want to head across the river. And uh, see this sugar cane, just head straight up from here. And you can see there's another there's another pole here, so I can see where I'm going. As you can see, they're all the other ones, so they're pretty close, as you can see. So yeah, once you come down this one, all the cords on screen. This one's a zombie spawner, and um, chests right here. You don't get too much, really, not that good. But you can make a double XP farm, I guess, and you can link them all up. So yeah, that's pretty damn cool. But anyway, when we come back up to the top here, all you've got to do is head over this way. There's a lot of walking on this one, I'm afraid, uh, but they're pretty damn close. You don't really get much better in this. So yeah, once you've got to head down this one, head all the way down, and then we're in a spider spawn one. And as you see, the mine shaft's right here, so if you want to, you can um, sh come straight through here. For some reason, the night vision's not working either, for some reason. It probably is. Anyway, you can come right through here, and there's a mine shaft. As you see, there's a mine shaft chest just there. So we'll check that out too. As you see, some iron and saddles, so you can get a horse, have a horse. And check this out, it might be a bit dark for a second. As you see, there's a chest here as well. But check this one, it's got some iron name tags and stuff like that. Uh, that's okay stuff, but you know, let's do some more stuff. You've got plenty of chests. Now, what you want to do is head all the way back up if you want to. Then head all the way up. Now, once you are at the top, you've got to head off to this way towards this other one. And um, yeah, basically, it's pretty easy to find if you just look at the cords and just dig right down. But um, yeah, as you can see, dig all the way. this one's a lot further down, as you can see. And break this gravel, so I don't know how this got there. And you see, here's another skelly spawner and chest here you've got lots of iron you've got a diamond horse armor a saddle so if you have friends you have a lot of um horse armor and stuff like that saddles and then this one here we've got just a little bit of gunpowder and a cd so yeah not really too much special 
and there's a few mines next to them as well. It's pretty cool, I guess. You could go mining as well with your friends and stuff. So you head all the way back up to the top. Actually, ha hang on, here you are. Here's a mine shaft. So if you dig down a bit, there's actually a mine shaft right here. So yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice mine shaft. I think it's quite a big one actually. So um, yeah, it'd be pretty damn cool. Now we are back up to the top. Jeez, there's a lot of talking to do. Back up to the top now, and all you got to do is head across the river, another little one, and head over to the other side. Basically, pretty simple to find. Uh, if you find a lava pool, it, you would know where to go because you just head around the lava pool and then head straight down here. Basically, just pretty simple. So yeah, just look at the cords as well if you don't know where I'm going. And here is some more stuff, and there's some more stuff. I know it's not that good still, but um, there will be better stuff later because there's more spawners. So yeah, as you see, we are in another mine shaft. I think it might link up to the other ones, so you might find this by going around. But yes, we are here, and that's grass moving, and I thought it was something else. Anyway, come here, and once you come here, come back up to the top. So now we are back up to the top by the lava pool. So yeah, the next thing you're going to want to do, guys, is head straight towards those mountains over there. So, well, one mountain, and there's, bunch, there's like loads of trees as well. Just head over this way. It's quite a run. So hopefully you got food from those chests we just showed you from. So yeah, all you got to do is head this way. And once you head this way, you should find a village. And there's no blacksmith. I'm afraid because I don't know. No, I don't know. No blacksmith wants to live there, I guess. So yeah, once you keep heading this way, just keep heading straight, and you should see it pretty soon. And here we are, as you can see, right at the um, village right here. So basically, all you want to do is get your food here. As you see the cords as well on screen, so you definitely check those out because you we need to know where to go. And basically, once you're finished here, get all the food and all that type of cool stuff. Maybe trade a few villagers. All you got to do next is head off this way. So basically, uh, you got you see this like little mountain here. Let's head to the floor, so it might be a little bit easier. Actually, it's like a mountain area here. You've just got to run off this way. And you should see a pillar. Well, you won't see a pillar in your world. But I do, because I've marked it. Because I need to know where stuff is, because I do forget. So, yeah, as you see, see these mountains or hills. Head towards between them here. And just keep heading off this way. And then, once you come over towards this big open area, you will see... Well, you won't see anything apart from grass. Uh, but all you got to do is dig down on these cords and there's another mob spawner right here So this one's pretty close. Uh, I know it's a little bit further run, but it's really good stuff what's inside So yeah, just jump down. It's quite a way down as you can see uh, Be careful this lava as well. So you gotta be careful of lava. You don't want to die all that stuff you just got So basically you want to open some chests up and you see there's a normal golden apple here As you can see some gunpowder and on this side there's a god apple as you can see right there, so yeah, they are pretty rare to find in 1.12 of Minecraft. And I probably should have said this at the start, but this seed will only work on 1.12. It might work on any earlier versions or later versions, you have to try it. But I'm on 1.12, so it only works 1.12, I'm pretty sure. So as you can see, my furnace is up there, 1.12. As you get a golden apple as well, you get some other cool stuff and CDs and stuff like that. But yes guys, that's basically what's in the world. Uh, I There are so many more spawners in this world. If I want to, I can go through game mode 3 and just go right through and spot out a bunch of um, other mob spawners but it would take me ages to mark them all down and stuff like that there's probably another like uh, 5 or 6 another spawners around so yeah definitely have a good look around if you want to come on creative on this world and go through game mode 3 to have a good look around and see more mob spawners you can do that but yeah obviously I have not marked them all because it would take me too long and this video will go on forever so yeah basically um, that's pretty cool, I guess, with all those mob spawners. There's literally loads. I think there's probably nearly 15, 20, nearly mob spawners, maybe. And um, there's like two or three mine shafts. There's this village. There might be more villages about. So yeah, basically, you just got to explore. And yeah, basically, that's it. All. So that's basically what I had for this video, guys. If you guys actually enjoyed it, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to this channel. I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.